Spencer, do you, do you hear what I hear? Uh, no. Said this. Oh, 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 whoa, whoa. there, Rudolph. Spencer. The cast on the mizzen mast. Uh, Spencer, I think I, it, click, it's, click, it's, click, it's, click, it's the click, beginning click, of spring, but click, I think I hear click. sleigh bells and the pitter pat of reindeer hoof. Oh, oh, oh. In March slash April? Yes. Mm, slow down, reindeer. Santa Claus, I, I just came up through the chimney because I heard you. Jesus Christ. What the shit? I'm I'm supposed to go down that. And I'm behind you. I, I can well, say, God damn it! I can say the same thing to you. What the fuck are you doing on my roof? It's oh, a, oh, it's, oh. it's almost April. Are you Jeffy Davis? I I or Jeff B Davis, but close enough. Well, you're on my nice list. What? Plus one. Who's is that? Spencer. Spencer L. Crittenden. <laughs> yeah, he he can be your plus one. Because why? You, look, oh. Can I can I can I get out front of this? Yeah. No, well, well, th that would embarrass me. Well, look, I, can you let me take it at least across the threshold, okay. so I don't look like an invalid? All right, I, look, Santa Claus, I enjoyed your choo choo and your Legos, so you fucking. Oh, say oh. I'll tell you what, though, and you can you can the, after I initiate it, you can come in any time you want. I've come back around to my nicest boys. With me undies. <laughs> Wait, are you just here doing a cheesy podcast advert? It's Harmontown's <laughs> first historic, and I believe the podcast industry's first live pre-roll ad read. Some people said this was a bad idea. No, I. By the way, this wasn't the client's idea, unless it reflected. So, 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 this was my idea you, as an entertainer. Well, I thought it'd be cool. Okay, well, look, uh, look. Uh, uh, it's cold out. It's 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 April. It's still chilly. Oh, it's, it's not oh. Christmas. But since I'm up here without any underwear on, oh, uh, spoiler alert! I'm naked. I'm a child. <laughs> Uh, what, uh, oh, what, what, what do you got for me, Santa? Oh, well, Jeffy. <laughs> Just read the copy, Santa. Hey, I've got me undies. Talk about why they're the best underwear. They're three times softer than cotton. They and use a space-age sustainable fabric. Excuse me, what? And feel free to improvise. <laughs> Santa, I hope you're going to <laughs> tell me that me undies has adventurous prints and designs, and they're all limited edition, and new patterns are released every few weeks on a rolling basis. Also, after you say yes or no to that, tell me what rolling basis means. Rolling bases are the four bases of comfort. First base, micromodal fabric, providing sustainable Comfort. Second base. Second base is the patterns and designs that MeUndies come in. Third base. Third base is a satisfaction guarantee. You could slide to ho ho home. <laughs> Don't let me look. Santa, who's a big and Santa? Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Great offer for my listeners. For any time. MeUndies has a great offer for my listeners. For any first-time purchasers, when you purchase any MeUndies, you get 20% off and free shipping. Straight from Santa himself. MeUndies is so sure that you're going to love their underwear. They'll offer a 100% satisfaction guarantee. If you don't love them, you get a full goddamned refund. Go, go to MeUndies.com slash Harmontown. That's MeUndies.com slash Ha. Harm ho 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 town. <laughs> the, Santa, Santa, you, you you're overthinking it. You you uh, you, you had a good uh, one. Uh, uh, you had a good one. Just, you're right. You're you, right. All, all you have to do is just go on Dasher on on on, on Rudolph. Uh, you can just go away. All right. Or, so, or Santa, just read the call to action on this copy. Go to what? It's read, a no read the call to action, Santa Claus. He already did. did you, I did. Oh. God oh, sorry. damn. Sorry, I'm drunk. I'm four and I'm naked. I'm sober. Yeah, I'm sober. Yeah, uh, it's it's April and yeah, Santa's yeah, here. He's yeah. sober. Sh shouldn't you be making toys instead of peddling children underwear I still in the middle of the night? All right, let's pissed. start the show. Hey, everybody. Oh. Welcome to Uptown Burbank.
Harmontown is now in the session. Zach, you got a beat for me? No. Where the fuck is Zach? I, I just oh, Zach just, just Zach just left. Oh, there. Now he yeah. This oh is a good God. new format. That, that was we exhilarating. Do a, we do a cold open. It might not. Go, go ahead. Go ahead. No, I, I, we'll have different cold opens. Sometimes they'll just see plot threads, but we'll have them. I think that what we just did was advertising history. Oh, by the way, I'm Jeff Davis, your comptroller. We're in Burbank. Harmontown is now in session. Let's welcome Spencer Crittenton, your game master. You might rec recognize him from the recent Santa Claus MeUndies ad. Uh, also, the star of Santa Claus and playing the role of Santa L. Claus, the mayor of Harmontown, Mr. Dan Harmon. Thank you. <laughs> See, it's already a better format because it didn't make. I know, and I knew it was never. Uh, it was never supposed to make sense what we were doing because we were performing for nobody. My thought was just do it, but I make a little. I like making a little tweak like that. We can do a cold open. I can already be sitting up here, and then uh, and then and then the music can play. Yeah. It's a cold open. It feels and, and, professional. Yeah. And it felt really professional. It was good. <laughs> <laughs> With a capital P. <laughs> that if. If if Harmontown can guarantee one thing, it's professionalism of our pre-roll ads. But you know, I also think it would be funny. Remember when we were remember uh, on Oscar night, and we were like, uh, I I I was like, I got really excited for a second because we we clearly the Oscars weren't even over, much less had we seen them, much less had we planned. And then I riffed the dumb sarcastic thing of like, well, yeah, we've been pre rehearsing this show all month, but like. We should just we should force ourselves before each show. We should decide, or we could do it on stage. But there should always be a fake, like a there's there has to be a uh, a fake cold a open. segment. There has an to be a sketch. Gag. Yeah. All right. No, maybe not an opening. But we, uh, we'll oh, put, just a, put, a, put a pin in that. But. Or like SNL, we have to come out and do our our. <laughs> Our Sarah Huckabee Sanders sketch. Yeah. <laughs> it's like it's coming. It's gonna. It's happening tonight, and we we refer to it or whatever. Wait, I don't know. Are you, are you suggesting we like just like think about the show at all? Just a little bit. Just right. that much. That just enough to make it like willfully shittier, right. which would make it better because it would be structurally no, I shitty. Get it. Like 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 we we'd enjoy that. They'd enjoy that. Yeah. yeah no, I think they'd enjoy more effort on our part. <laughs> That might that might go over, <laughs> especially the people that paid for it. Yeah, <laughs> they, they might dislike right. it, but no, I mean I, yeah, I'm I, open to look, it definitely. I, no, I, uh, I'm I'm excited. It's well, just like, uh, also, it's easy we, to be we, funny. We, we got here an hour early to talk about business affairs, right? And so we were here early, and we were kind of already warmed up. Yeah, as opposed to just rolling in right at eight o'clock. Yeah. Your no, voice is warmed up. Nothing like talking about the podcast business to bring the, the <laughs> spirit from your solar plexus up into your joy chakra. Because uh, we all do this to have a good time. But that that's actually true. I, 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 I had an epiphany in therapy, uh, uh, and my uh, therapist gave me a fist bump, which she, she doesn't usually you know, touch me and stuff. Mm -hmm. And she, she also kicked my foot. Like, like, as she was getting up to schedule next week's appointment, she, like, kicked my foot. Like, look at you. She called me. She said I was transcend, trans, tra, uh, wait. Transforming? No. Transforming. <laughs> so I, I'm just trying to, I, I've, I've, I've Trans I'm, I'm transcending my, uh, uh, roll out. My native, uh. Yeah, fuck it. You Whatever. transcended your native what? I don't know. The thing that makes me <laughs> naturally an asshole. Tell me your. Tell me more about your epiphany, then. Well, it doesn't. Yeah, I mean, whatever <laughs> she. That, that was just her report card. I, I and I don't. I don't. That's not. That's not why I do therapy. Well, I don't I, do I, it to win therapy. I would say if but my, I, I won. If my lesbian therapist reached across the table and fist bumped me and then give me a little footsie kick, I would say that's that's certainly transformational. Right. Like you, you have graduated. And she's a married lesbian, by the way, for those who don't oh, watch Jesus the... Christ. Oh, fuck. Oh, no. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh, dear heavens. Oh, 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 boy. Dan was about to talk about his spiritual epiphanies. <laughs> Rob Schraub in the house. Unsolicited Schraub. Yes, serenade you tonight. Hey. 
Welcome to me. Welcome to you. Welcome to ever just to let's fuck it. Wow. You know, I bailed, I bailed, I bailed. Let me. You, 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 you made a pretty brave entrance, and then you... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It is. Steve said, hey, you should just walk up on stage. <laughs> well, that, people love that. And not, it didn't go wrong at any point. It's, 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 it, it, was, it was just funny to watch you charge into the Lake Michigan on a b- <laughs> banana leaf. And, like, it, it could be a boogie board. It's probably not going to be a boogie board. Like, you, <laughs> you charged into it. All right. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm. What did I interrupt? Spiritual journey? You, you've, you've got something? You got something? Coping? He was transcending something. Transcending. Well, we opened the show with a uh, something I just came up with in the moment. Oh, let's hear it. I thought I said let's do let's open the show with a uh, with the ad, and uh, we'll do a MeUndies ad. We'll we'll still they'll still get their money. No, no, worth. no, no. They got their ad. If what we did in the beginning was if that's like, not good enough for MeUndies, then my MeUndies. Can go fuck themselves. Well, for all we I'm know, I'm wearing them right now. They might have paid for a middle of the podcast ad. We don't. I'm, all I'm saying is they're still going to get whatever they paid for. I I was at the march yesterday for our lives for the kids that don't want to get shot to death in schools, and I, I I went through my me undies drawer, and I was like, what's the right me undies underwear to wear at a march for kids that don't want to get shot to death at school, and I had them. It was the ones with the little peace signs, you know, the the, the much loved ones. What are those called? I had my. Where's much, the peace sign? The, 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 the peace fingers, you know. The, Where's the peace fingers? It's, it's all over. There's a bunch of little tiny peace signs. It's not there. I might, st- I might still be wearing them. Don't, don't, don't. Yeah. Don't do you it. You might yeah. still be wearing. He's them. still wearing What'd them, you ladies wear, and gentlemen. Wear, wake up in a ditch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I woke up with a taste of uh, probably no gun control laws in my mouth <laughs> because nothing matters. Well, yeah, I wore my actual gun control MeUndies. They had, like, guns with X's on them. For real? Yeah. No. So that's probably why it didn't work, because you weren't wearing the right underwear. <laughs> so, don't put- so what was your ad at the beginning of the show? It was a great MeUndies every- ad. Yeah. I did. A, I did like a. Uh, do, why don't we just we'll run through? Can it real we let's just start it over. Can what? we? You, 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 I mean, remember, we, we, can we take every, the lights back we'll down? We'll give them the twenty okay, second how, version. How about this, D- Dan Spencer? How about this? We redo it, but now Rob is in the scene. Okay. So he gets to interact. That way, it'll be like. way better. But Rob, you don't have that to. That sounded sarcastic. No, it didn't. <laughs> All right. I mean, if you want to do the light cue, hey, I don't have the switch. I wasn't talking to you. Well, you gestured to me. <laughs> you looked at you did a little bit. <laughs> Good night, Spencer. Ho, ho, ho. Whoa, Donner. Hold on there on the left there, Jetson. Go slower on this now melting rooftop. Ho, ho, ho. Guess it's a little easier to land on it now that it's April. It's a living. <laughs> the chipmunks are out, and I'm unpacking my bag of things to give to everybody. Time to go hey, over hey, to the... Hey, hey, I, I don't know who the fuck you are. Get off the fuck of my roof. I got a gun over here. I got an AR-15. Meundies, blind him. Oh! <laughs> the, the, the underwear are like bats, and they like swarm him. Huh. Try surrounding yourself in a variety of patterns. But keep come it every up. month. Pop, 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 you, You'll have the to. The MeUndies blocked all the bullets. <laughs> it must be the micro-modal fiber. <laughs> up into the sky. MeUndies. And that, that's harmanchamp.com slash MeUndies. You see how Rob being in the scene just instantly plussed it. <laughs> Again, sarcasm. No, time. that was honesty. That was proving that my past sarcasm was indeed honesty. I think it's this that's making it feel sarcastic. It certainly makes me harder to read. Yeah. Yeah. Put your hand somewhere else. No. <laughs> yes, Spencer always looks like he's answering, answering a call from, like, the 1970s. <laughs> Talk to me. <laughs> Hello, 1970s. This is McGillicuddy. I'm Mrs. McGillicuddy. Oh, 
Oh, by the way, I, I, I forgot you. to tell the audience: there's no, there's no guest tonight, and there's nothing. To, there's nothing. <laughs> there's no video. Tonight you would be also. wrong. Uh, and I don't think I have anything. Is it, uh, isn't Rob Schraub guest enough? No, of course he is. Rob Schraub is guest enough. He's a regular. <laughs> Rob right, Schraub oh, is I could, I could Dr. Guest enough. Dr. Guest enough. Welcome to another edition of Harm in Town. I'm your host, Dr. Guest enough. Tonight, we're going to be watching Godzilla vs. Mothra, and we'll be learning how to make jello ice cubes. <laughs> now, here's a commercial for Kmart, your saving place. <laughs> Ma'am. Do you know why I pulled you over? No, I don't, officer. <laughs> it's because you didn't get these savings at Kmart. Oh. Shirt ripped open. Look at the size of those big savings. <laughs> all this week at Kmart, 20% off all brands and competing brands. Oh, okay. For a total of 40% off of oh. each brand. Look, can Sub I... brands are an oh. additional 5% oh, off. God, I'm so elated. You, it's a cumulative effect, so if you get three sub-brands, you'll have a total of 15% off of brand-related uh, uh, numbers. I have a coupon for motorboating. Put it... <laughs> put it in your life. Put it in Kmart. Ah! <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Oh, no. It's <laughs> no. me undies. <laughs> okay. All right. So that's how that would have gone. Right. All right. Um, well, the epiphany that I had in therapy was uh, that uh, I, I – uh, uh, <sighs> You're gay. <laughs> There's uh, – uh, uh, Nothing wrong with that. Every Everybody uh, in the world – no matter how far away they live from anyone else, like, we're all, like, you know, we're all in a crowded warehouse. You can't you can't move without touching everybody. It's like if you go to anything where there's a bunch of people. Like a crowded warehouse. Right. Like a crowded warehouse. <clears throat> <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm really undercutting my epiphany. It doesn't sound that good anymore. I'm just, I'm totally listening. No, 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 I, no, I, no, I want to no. hear this. But 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 I I I have been making the mistake of because if you if you if you pursue what you want, like if you follow your goal, like 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 whatever that goal is, but it can't be too complicated. It can't be, for instance, I got to get out of the warehouse because then you're just going to get irritated because the, all you can really do in the in the foreseeable future is like move through a bunch of people but your goal might be like I want to get to the west side of the warehouse I've never been over there uh and and but ultimately the whatever the goal is it all falls under the giant heading of I want to be happy so therefore and then you have these good goals so the thing has to be not about the people that you're like. Th th then there's all this stuff. So you have to, whenever you move through a crowd, you, you you're constantly having to go. Excuse me. Sorry. No, that's okay. That's all right. There's, there's people. It, it's just a mess. You know, people are a mess. Like we 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 just everyone's at cross purposes, and you're trying to be polite and graceful and. You don't want to be part of the problem, and all of that stuff's happening, and it's causing you like a lot of anxiety. So, like, my epiphany was that I, I have been because of maybe like early on, I was like, oh wow, it's oh, this this is the worst part, right? It's the part where you have to go like this. So, what what can I do about that part? Which made me feel like I was being in the moment and being uh uh, uh like aware because if people who think about their goals are heartless people because then they walk through everybody because they're going that way but you don't have to choose between those two things like i was what but the people who when we shrink back like that and we go oh i need my goal is i want to be the best person in the world i want to be i want to i want to not step on any toes and or if, if someone steps on my fucking toe this time, you know, like that, we get into those moods. Like, I'm just going to police my fucking, like, 
it, it you're drawn back into this like thing and then like you could do a lot of good that way you could even be like you could become a kind of art installation because you could be like here's what i'm gonna do because of the situation like i'm gonna stick my thumb in my mouth and like blow on it and like i i like like but it oh, this is the part where i can't bring it home but i'm just saying like now i understand like the people that i like are the people that they don't they don't shrink back that far to the point where they're just doing what everyone's doing which is going i hope nobody hates me because if we all do that well maybe arguably that would be utopia but like i think we like i want to like follow this meandering dot of i want to be happy and get better having accepted that any path takes you across everybody i want to get better at saying excuse me and i'm sorry and you're forgiven and oh no problem and excuse are me you, no are, i didn't see are that. you saying like it's the it's the like when you're when you're trying to navigate through that crowd and you're and you're trying really hard not to bump into anybody, not to interact, and not to step on anybody's toes, but also you don't want to touch sweaty people right. and stuff like that. That's what's making you not happy or miserable, and you should just learn to kind of like be okay bumping oh. into being touched or, or, or like going, hey, how you doing? Or being, is that what you're saying? Or I'm enjoying using, I'm, the. Well, I'm using it as a model and saying, like, you know. First of all, no wrong answers except for each individual. So let's say that you don't like the – let's say that that's like your – so there's some people that go to a concert because they genuinely want to, like, fucking, like, yeah. rub up against people or be, even be punched by them or risk that fact. Like, there's there's just – and then there's serial predators who flock to the, the uh, situations of a crowd because they can grope you and pretend they're not it's not their fault or like like there's there's no value to this situation like there's no good and evil observable you just zoom in on the individual are you within this writhing sea of people that you can't escape uh are you going to define your entire life by the moment to moment like oh that guy wouldn't have done that if he had any respect for me and i oh i just hurt that person more than i should have and i should have I, 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 there's like it's almost I, I, like you're talking emotional and physical like 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 emotional interactions or, or simply physical interactions i'm talking about i'm talking about down in the uh encounter to encounter level of your right human existence and then not pulling back to the size of a planet so that you become a nihilist and go sheeps to the slaughter give me more bacon and forensic file i like i'm saying like if you pull back to a, a resolution that's like one person's anxiety about every encounter they have to have as they move through life as one corpuscle in a stream of them or one cockroach in a nest of them, or one oh, like 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 pick whatever beautiful or disgusting thing you want to say. We're part of a biomass, so if you pull back a couple of those human units, not a thousand, not a million, but just like ten or something, like the amount of energy it takes to decide that you want to leave a party because you don't like it, like. Uh, well, in order to do that, I'd have to, like, I might be so intent on leaving this party that I'm going to end up hurting. Uh, uh, like, you you, you... you could just charge out You could charge out the door. Metaphorically, you could, like, knock over coffee right. tables. Not to mention, step on someone's toe without mm -hmm. apologizing. And, or, and, and then, uh, like, even, God, imagine, like, the irish goodbye factor of like i didn't even susan was upstairs taking a shit when i left and i don't know yeah, like, like, said like bye to me and not taking me. a beeline out the door is yeah like i've always considered it as a, it's, it's a dichotomy between uh there's a binary choice between total self-interest and altruism but it was that was not true it was a binary choice between living a, a life of total self-paralyzing anxiety and knowing who the fuck i am right like because this is easy 
being anxious, going, everybody hates me, everybody loves me, I hope I don't do that, yeah, I think you get it. It's like, it's, it's like I'm, like, that's my excuse to, like, do nothing and go nowhere. So have you put that into play? Like, since No. You... <laughs> I just thought of it, like, Friday. But Well, how about this? Can you put that into play? Can, can you, like, activate that part of you? Well, I opened the show with a Christmas ad from Yundies. You fucking did. I had a, an epiphany with my therapist this week. You found out she was my therapist. No. And then I paid her it's to keep an eye on you. It's a different therapist. Uh, <laughs> You're spying on Rob through your therapist? No, I hope not. Uh, <laughs> That'd be so funny. That'd be amazing. You paid, you paid a therapist to, like, somehow, like, you did, like, a fucking Inception thing, or no, yeah. not Inception. Uh, Sir, that goes uh, against the, the game, the, Michael Douglas thing that led them to their that therapist. That goes against my Hippocratic oath. Everybody has a price. Yeah. And you paid so much that she's just now g gathering shit on Shroud. Yeah. Or, or honestly, if they're a therapist and they said, like, don't you think this is kind of unhealthy? Uh, you, all you have to do is say, or is it so healthy? Dot, dot, dot. And then they'd be like, I can't. I can't. Got me there. I, 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 I am required to <laughs> consider that possibility. I'm a therapist. <laughs> what was your epiphany, Shroud? Well, uh, it, I think it's similar to what you're saying. If I'm hearing you right, Dan, it's like because um, I was like I've been telling her about like what I'm going through like creatively and how I'm just like I wake up every morning going, it's over with and I'm I'm tired and I'm just sad and I just I don't have the juice anymore and it's not fun and and she says oh it's, it's, it's like if I'm alone and I, Kate's been out of town all week so I've been really kind of pho just like phoning in my life and sleeping all day and eating like shit and I just have like the voices in my head are just being very the critical mind yeah the critical mind is like just like you know, on overload and and so she she was like saying that like the critical mind is is well it goes back to being like like the lizard brain in your head where it's like saying stay in your cave stay away from the unknown keep your belly full don't take any chances it's risk averse Ri yeah exactly don't do any of that because it's because it's it, it and it makes you survive the biological not, fed has yeah. set the interest rates higher right, right so to speak and not and later. and then like add like 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 that's all like our like ancient you know primitive instincts already in our head then add on top of like trying to to being socially domesticated and all that and voices of your parents and teachers capitalism and, yeah yeah and so so she was like she was like she was like saying like could you befriend that voice in your head you know could you befriend it because really that friend that voice in your head is a friend is somebody who cares about you that's only trying to protect you like when they say when it's like don't don't dream too big don't dream too big or you're you know like because why why is that voice telling you that because it doesn't want your heart to get broken but in order to to uh achieve what you really want to do you have to risk right that mm -hmm. and 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 so you know if you could have a conversation with that voice in your head and say, hey, listen, thank you. Uh, I'm sorry I was so angry about trying to push you away. I should embrace you. Uh, yeah, I know no you're problem. only. I was just trying to help. Bruce Willis. Yeah. I, He's the I, I know right. you're trying to look out for me. Yeah. But sometimes I got to run over the glass. Yeah. Don't you ever think that if Bruce Willis is your critical voice, maybe you should take it seriously? <laughs> yeah. No? No, I should. I should. I mean, if Bruce Willis was my critical voice, I would be like. This whole tower's going to go down, buddy. Yeah. Oh, what do you want me to do? Just sit here and watch it happen? No, I don't want you to. I don't want you to sit there. I want you to. What, what do I do? What I don't know. I'm. I, You're asking me. Hold tight. Get, wait for the police. <laughs> <laughs> you ask for excitement. Uh oh. <laughs> it's a Hudson Hawk trailer. Well, I thought I was trying to be poignant in that the the, the critical voice that doesn't. It's it's not always the noid from. Uh, that, that that's the thing is like I think that's what we're afraid of of confronting yeah. is that like oh but yeah but my critical voice is actually 
It's not a, a, a ugly booger man from a car lot commercial where it's like, I hate high prices or low prices or whatever that guy it's, would hate. It's more like the Little hate Caesars savings. guy. He probably <laughs> hates high prices. Yeah, I hate. I love high wait, prices. Wait. Oh, 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 oh. I love them where I am high well, prices. Well, a, a booger, a booger Look, man would probably hate low prices. I think I, I, this is from, if you haven't seen it, watch the uh, early Robert Zemeckis film starring Kurt Russell, Used Cars. They do a commercial in it, and the the a guy has to play high prices. Oh, oh no! Yeah. How does he play it? I think he. he look, I remember him as looking like a, a a Fruit of the Loom guy. I can't I can't remember what the costume was, but he had like come out, and then like they did like a squib effect, like, uh, like, like high prices, fuck you, and they like they blow him up with a shotgun or whatever, and it's all like squibs and blood and stuff, and you're you know it's like these guys are underdogs, like they're. They're they're too effective at selling used cars. Yeah, they're too effective. So yeah, so I, I mean, putting it that way, like befriending the critical mind and, and realizing that it's it it it's actually something that doesn't hate you and doesn't want you to fail. It's just trying to protect you. And so if when that voice or that that attitude is in your head. She was like, get into the habit of saying, thank you, I understand, go fuck but yourself. This, this, it, it, well, no, you no, can't no, be no, mean. No, no, being, oh. being nice, oh. just like, It'll I understand you're trying to help me here, but this, and usually I would, like, pay attention to you, like, not run out into traffic, you know, not eat bad food, or it's time to get out of bed or whatever, but this is a time where I need to risk being hurt. I think the pain is worth it, so I'm going to need you to just trust me on this one. And and, and if if in the voice, you know, we, if you know it well enough, we'll go. Okay, I'm here if you need me. You know, just that. That's beautiful. It, I love that. And and it really it, it started thinking of it that way. It really started um, kind of reprogramming a lot. Yeah, I, I can think like that. That's a wonderful idea. Like like I used to draw a lot, but I don't draw anymore because the reason I don't draw is I think I'm bad at it now. Yeah, but, because something but, in your head saying, so why, it, why are you doing why this? Why are you doing this? You, you know you're just going to draw the same stupid shit you always draw. But I need to befriend that voice and say, well, let's just try. Yeah. Let, 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 let's, let, what's the worst thing that could happen the if I just The only way to get drawing? better at it is to keep practicing it. So why don't you be quiet for a bit or watch me? Or, or, sit, if, or I, if I fail, guess what? You're right. But, but, but yeah. who cares? Say, or tell me how to make it better. Yeah. You know, like say, like if it's like, oh, your, your cross hatching's bad or your gesture. Okay, well, that's something I will concentrate on instead of just like going, eh, it's over with. Don't even try. Because yeah. that's. That's what what the lizard brain is trying to do. It's like it's don't also, yeah, it's don't go You're into saying, the like, dark forest. We, a lot of times we get programmed to go like you gotta you gotta you gotta punch that no you can't voice in the face and you and it's like that actually could be the that lizard like to the extent that it wants you mitigated i.e. like that's what a that's what a, a sheep dog does it's like kind of yeah. vaguely threatens the sheep because it mm -hmm. loves them wants to keep them in a certain area yeah, exactly. along a certain path and so getting mad at it actually is part of its function mm -hmm. whereas if if you were a sheep and you wanted to you know maybe supersede a sheep dog's authority because maybe you're a sheep that wants the herd to go in a different direction the f actual practical thing to do would be to not like tangle with the sheepdog but to like go around behind it and bid it mm -hmm. good day and well, be nice to it what and, you want me to go over here okay yeah, great sounds like, like a it, good idea because you probably hey how long have you been a sheepdog like yeah. like 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 it's kind of you kind of crazy because yeah. you look kind of like a sheep like your fur is like my fur, but they don't turn yours into sweaters huh? like, is that jeremy over there and you just kind of like you're not enemies yeah. with the critical voice the yeah, threshold I, guardians can be tamed by uh, assimilation i what, think other, that there's like on a pseudoscientific level or whatever i think that you're, what you're talking about is the survival mechanism associated with fight or flight, which is associated with heightened state of emotion, states of panic. Yeah. And I think that when you engage in an emotional, angry, traumatic way to those feelings on an emotional level, like you would if someone was telling you you're shit at everything, it gets you into a more emotional state, which is more prone to that part of your brain, whereas what you're describing is a very rational, it's the other part of your mind, the societal kind of control part of your mind that's that's not at all. It's divorced from that, that lizard part. And it sounds like like, 
you're intentionally not trying to channel those pathways that reinforce what what the negative stuff is saying and you're you're instead choosing pathways that take you away from that so you're when you say you're reprogramming I, it's, what you're doing it sounds like is actively reprogramming the way you're thinking yeah it's, yeah. Also, it's also a very subtle simple idea is that befriend the part of you that argues with yourself the, because the it's, thing it's, that you think you. hates yourself when you go like a lot of people are going oh i hate myself or whatever because the critical mind is like going through every little uh, piece of your life every second of your life going you did that wrong fucked up what a news you're gonna wear that what's that on that your sounds face? like a what fan you... that sounds like a exactly big fan. yeah yeah you've got like <laughs> a reddit in your head that's like <laughs> that is like saying everything you do is a comment piece of section shit or whatever but but yeah, but the, the the reality is is those those voices in on Reddit are your biggest fans. Otherwise, they wouldn't be yeah, yeah. paying attention to every second of your life. But the a lot of us, um, you know, well, just speaking of me, we were, I mean, we're all we're all monkey dogs when we come out of our mothers, and we're just like ah, eating food and rolling around, and we wouldn't dress or bathe unless somebody went, no, stop it, you know, and so. You're, you learn how to become a, a civilized human being by being told, no, stop it. Robbie, no, now, stop it. No, do you have to do that? And it's like you hear that voice over and over and over again, and that was that's programmed into your head. And still into adulthood, I hear my mom's voice going, no, oh, you're lazy, stop doing And this was... This is just her way of saying, I'm worried. Yeah, that you just have you're to not, not hear that voice when you're uh, doing something that has nothing to do with the things that she was in charge of, which yeah. is keeping you from falling downstairs, walking to the street, touching hot stoves. Like, yeah. like it's not. And her she's fault not that, even that, that person that anymore. Yeah, and exactly. I'm not that. That no, she was. You only had yeah. that relationship with that stuff, but then it's called toxic shame when it's like right. misappropriated. But it's very much like like when Lolly is barking at a skateboard that goes by i've learned to what is this thing? yeah yeah i learned that if i clap my hands she'll like go like like she'll like flinch and she'll stop barking and so like if i so now whenever she does anything bad like i'll clap my hands not even hard and i'll be on the other side of the room and she knows that that's time to stop you know mm -hmm. so i'm her critical mind now every time she thinks that she's doing something that she's going to be in her head thinking like. And if she wanted to succeed as an animal, she would learn to befriend that critical mind, perhaps fetch its balls once in a while, yeah. and then one fateful day eat its throat in its sleep oh, come on. and go into. <laughs> Wait, that's a that's over the line. I mean, like, killing me? Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna, what? I'm gonna so say that killing way. me is over the line. Yeah, it's a. Right I just, you're you're reacting like I like I said something bad about her. Like I made a joke about hurting an animal. You're the. No, guy. I'm I'm a I'm your friend. <laughs> all right, all right, okay, not all right. Well, uh, the boot the boot the Buddha the uh, fella. Hey, Spencer. Hey. Do you, did you ever hear the story of the Christmas without underwear? Uh, <laughs> no. There's an old story about it. What the fuck is happening? To... Hello, little children. There'll be no underwear for Christmas this year. Oh, no. Yes, I'm oh, sorry no, to say. No. All the underwear is made out of horrible shit cotton, oh. not even close to micromodal. Oh, shit. Yeah, so uh, no Christmas this time. Oh, no, my balls are rubbing up against this not diamond-shaped oh. pouch. Oh, what? Oh, shit. Bang, bang, bang. Woo. The Soul Reaper! <laughs> dead 500 years later and that was a story about the christmas with no underwear uh, uh. Gra grandfather <laughs> yes what undergarments could they have worn had they well they could have had my undies. <laughs> yeah. Neil Young, is that you? Yeah. Okay. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, every now. <laughs> yes, it's me. There's, Neil a, Young. there's a Buddhist uh, 
a parable, I don't know, uh, of what I speak. It comes to me courtesy of my therapist. Mm. It's the the thing that you're, we're talking about when we talk about befriending the critical mind. There's also like the, you know, it's the this uh, there was this goddess uh, named Mara, I think, who at some point where the Buddha was doing his thing in the tree, which was like Taking just shit. ignoring everything. <laughs> And then there was like temptations and things, and there was a goddess named Mara that was particularly like kind of, you know, tried to get in his head. And um, the phrase "I see you, Mara," like you don't have to be like, "Go fuck yourself, die by fire," or whatever. Like you just like you actually acknowledge you feed the troll uh, sometimes. Yeah, yeah, maybe all the time. I just go like, yeah. I, 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 my, my, my erstwhile. Uh, trainer dave klein said of people who troll like something i thought was kind of profound which was actually even those people they're just trying to connect with you which is different from from giving them credit for doing anything smart or funny or cool Mm. you can still like look down on them and go you're a dumb piece of shit that's that's would that that is choosing this method to try in some way to connect with me like, like, there's absolutely no, like, they might be lost to cynicism and, like, all this shit, but, like, it, it you, you got to admit, they're, like, still, they're, like, that's their disease that they're going, like, I wish I had an effect on you, which yeah. is, like, kind of, kind of uh, uplifting. It, it, it is, it's interesting because whenever you hear that critical mind voice, in your head in whatever form it is your first instinct is to go shut up leave me alone go away and a way to deal with it and it never works it always comes back but a a way to deal with it is to when it when it goes you're a piece of shit why are you why aren't you working right now if you would just like say okay hold on why are you saying that to me i work an awful lot but why why right How many now? jobs do you want me to have? As many as it takes. You know, it's like, like it's yeah, just, asking it what just, it wants. Like, yeah, yeah, what do you want? What do you, what would make you happy? What would make you, critical mind, stop, like, saying that to me? Trish just texted me, by the way, and said it was, it's Maya, not Mara. Maya means illusion. Oh, okay, it's Maya. I hear that, you, that, Maya. That, That's amazing that it means illusion. Like the software. Yeah, like, like the animation software. The illusion software. It makes, it make, yeah, it makes stuff that isn't real. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> Sorry, was that true? It wasn't a punch. Uh, I'm trying to. I, 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 I'm tabulating in my head. I'm like, did my therapist fuck up that name or did I? <laughs> but I don't know why no, I would. You, you said Mara, and I, I, I just shot a glance at Church because if anybody would know it in the building, it would be her. And she was like, uh, Yeah, she, so, she shook you off like Johnny Bench. Church. Oh, you do. I see, I see I see you illusion yeah that actually makes it more profound instead of creating like just a, another yeah. like crazy lady character <laughs> uh, yeah that's, that's interesting. interesting uh yeah church you want to come up and talk about like photographing the the march uh, uh... bring up church shorts she's shorts if you're a Starbucks person from Colombia she's shorts because they don't know how to spell church Hello. With the with the the of course the terms of service agreement that all guests check, which is that at any time you may say a word or syllable that makes me launch into a uh, <laughs> sputtering um, rant about how I'm not racist. <laughs> but uh, we were down, yeah we went down to the march and uh, I kind of I just I thought it was I I, I I I don't know I don't know how to tee you up I'm not a good uh, tier. But because uh, I don't want to make you feel pretentious and say like, Church, why don't you talk about how profound the imagery you captured was? But it was like, <laughs> but but actually, just like I thought it was cool you talking about how it was sort of like ducks in a barrel uh, <laughs> for photographers because of the simplicity of the theme. You want to go from there? Well, yeah. I mean, what I noticed and what was making me so emotional. I mean, aside from just what was actually happening, which is seeing so many kids and even really, really little kids marching and angry and thoughtfully expressing that anger and having these brilliant signs that I just, I could, I could not stop crying. You guys walked past me at a certain point. I stopped and just stood there and let the crowd kind of like 
move toward me and around me because that's the, the best way to see everything because if you keep just marching with the crowd as a photographer you're you're surrounded by the same 20 people as you move down the street so for me I, I i stop at some point and that just seemed like the right place to stop but all the other protests that i've photographed if you looked at all those photos together would look like they could be any protest because you see a lot of the same signs because right. we have so there's so much intersectionality with all of these issues there's so many issues happening at the same time and so you're seeing the same things all the time. There's, there's always the, the, signs, the rainbow Muslim Afro guy there's with the John 319. It's all the same. I love John 319. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't get enough play. For God also <laughs> didn't signs. love the people. <laughs> <laughs> he he loved them. He also didn't. <laughs> Sorry, I was that was I was trying to interject very quickly. How can uh, just, you've been to time, a lot of these? How big? It was the big right. It was big. I haven't seen the final numbers, but right. the thing it, that it takes them a few days to tabulate and kind of estimate the crowd size. But it seemed it seemed really big. There were over eight hundred thousand in D.C. That's the only number I know right. so far. But because the I point pre- was that this was the the only protest that, for me, in pictures, you know exactly what it is, and it's completely on one topic. Right. There's nothing else being talked about, and you can see that in just the images. And even, even if you like, let's take partisan politics aside, and people say that I hate the the GOP, or I'm a total liberal, or like I'm anti or pro NRA. If you just look at the, the children that were there, the expressions on their faces were different than other protests. They looked scared and pissed off. And I, like, what if like I, I'm trying to picture myself if I were. 13, 14, 16, 18, I was still in school. Where, what side would I fall on? And how angry would I be in which direction? I might have been the pro Second Amendment guy. I, I might have been the fuck the Second Amendment guy. <coughs> I, I don't know. But watching kids look fucking miserable and look really. There were, there's a couple on church's Instagram. There's that last one. There's no sign. The girl might have just been tired. She might just be a kid that was tired of being at a march. But there's a picture of her looking right at camera, and she just looks fucking sad. And I look at those photos, and I just start crying because um, I put myself in those little shoes. And I don't give a fuck what you think about gun rights or gun legislation or whatever. There's a bunch of fucking kids that are afraid to go to school. I, I have a niece that's fucking eight, and I've got friends that are like have children that are going to school. And let's not make it about politics, or make it about Trump, or make it about Paul Ryan, who's a cunt. Uh, sorry, <clears throat> I meant to say cunt. Uh, <laughs> uh, what what's happening is like, like imagine being a kid going to the mall now, going to a movie theater. Like it, it's fucking crazy. We shouldn't make celebrities out of Emma Gonzalez for being the first cool chick to get up and say a bunch of awesome stuff. I think that's dangerous. I think like that puts her in a bad situation. But I think that you should go around and look at church's photos and look at the kids that were marching that day. Um, they're scared. Their, their friends are dying. They're scared. They really are. And my nephews were going to march. And then my sister texts me on Friday night and she said that my my nephews had kind of had a little bit of a panic attack about it that they wanted so much to be a part of it but that they were really scared to go to the march and so she said you know you don't have to go Um, let's write letters to our representatives why don't you why don't you call we'll call our representatives and you can get on the phone and you can leave a message you can read your letter and leave a message but like kids are genuinely panicked and that's kind of one of the things that seeing that at the march looking into their faces and seeing how seriously i mean i i watched very young like four or five year old kids like who seem to very much understand what was going on and have really real feelings about it so there's all these accusations floating around like oh they, they couldn't possibly understand and they're too young to get it and they're just parroting their parents views or they're being manipulated or whatever but like you know what go to one of these marches and look at them and say it to their face well, just because look at those they seem to understand yeah that's the thing that i wanted to interject with was i'm sure there's uh, plenty of 
cynical people who have plenty of like whatever you we've discussed this oh, before. Oh, and like the, the comments point, on her photos and my photos of Spencer holding a sign. There's there's a lot of hate. They, but here's the thing: people is don't like, like you talking about When you look at the imagery, shit. like yeah, I don't even want to. It's like well, look at the relationship between the parents and the children in the imagery. Look at look at the mothers with the daughters yeah. on their shoulders. Um, and go ahead and start from the point of assumption that the little girl doesn't have any fucking idea what a gun is and understand how much more sad this becomes um, because it's a photograph of a relationship between a, a, a mother and daughter. But they do. The, the kids are now having to learn like the Cold War where they had to do duck and cover drills because of um, doomsday, like nuclear warfare. They now have to go have quiet the Drill. quiet game, the, the silent quiet, game. The quiet, the silent game. Any, yeah. Anybody, anybody with that kind of critical voice of like, of like, like, oh, the kids, they, they don't know. How could you make this their problem? It's just like we, we've, we've definitely gotten to the point where that, that argument is so fucking dumb, because that's exactly everyone's argument. Like, and and th that was the really effective, like, kind of somber mood. I thought a lot of the yeah. signs and stuff was like the theme was. Whether it was a parent that made a sign for a kid or the kid that made a sign for themselves, like the overwhelming theme was like, I, I shouldn't have to be involved with this. I don't, this shouldn't be, it shouldn't have come to this. I shouldn't be a voice in this conversation. We should, we should have all been on the same page about me a long time ago. I, 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 like, like, yeah, et cetera. There so, was one little girl in particular that make, made me think that, and I watched her for a while. I have a bunch of pictures of her and a little bit of a video that I posted of her with her little friend, too. Oh, that one's crazy. And her mother had a sign that just said, save her, and was pointing down because she knew her daughter would be at her feet most of the time, which is what caught my eye and made me start watching this little girl. But then her and her friend were, like, watching these older kids standing on a barricade and they were, you know, chanting like this is what democracy looks like and we call BS and all this. And at one point these two little girls and one this one girl just had such a look of concern, like she was looking around like isn't this obvious? Yeah, yeah, like they're do something chanting, and look at all these people and they were chanting, Vote them out. Vote them out. And she was staring at them and then at one point she just started Vote them out. Yeah, vote them out. Like she had like a realization of like, yeah. That's what we do, and yes, vote them out. She was stomping her little feet, and I just burst into tears. And she looks like one of those photos. I forget the photographer um, that took those great photos of the uh, Great Depression of, of the little, you know, yeah, like the, the kids, the, the little, the, little yeah, girl the covered, in, kids. covered in like you know soot or dirt, and the the, the the scared look on her face, and she looked absolutely concerned, yeah, like like scared, miserable. And she's like, this, this isn't a drill. This is some actual shit. And if people want to say, oh, the parents were brainwashing them, fuck you. No, but also just imagine, like, you're five. You play the silent game. It's been explained to you huh. what it's about. You're going to go and you're going to hide and you're going to stay quiet for as long as the drill. And then you're going to get a little treat if you stay quiet the whole time. And then going to the march and putting into context... What is actually ha like? This is the silent. This is what the silent game is about. This is what everybody's yelling about. Yeah. And everyone's holding signs with pictures of rifles. And, and signs that say "No more silence." Stop yeah. gun violence. Fuck silence. Start screaming. This little girl stomping. That video you took is is like I, I, we're sitting at the redwood. I was like, we're just crying. <laughs> it's yeah. fucking crazy. You guys seem like you need uh oh a safer place. MC Gun Control, is that you? It's me, MC Gun Control. <laughs> the tiny little trigger lock with a heart of millions. Zach put a beat on for MC Gun Control. <laughs> Yo. Uh, Yo. Uh, Yo. Uh, MC Gun Control, this is probably a pretty Yo, uh, busy time of year for you. Oh, yeah. yeah I mean, what, Everybody's getting me undies. And guns for April Christmas. <laughs> so I gotta go around to all the guns and make sure they have me a trigger lock. Yo. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> well, uh, yeah. Yeah, uh, uh, I'll, 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 I'll start you off, MC Gun Control. Okay. Um, okay. 
Okay, Which side you. of gun control are you on? Um, like, uh, good some, question. People, some people say you're in the pocket of NRA lobbyists. Listen, listen, yo, you gotta listen to my heart. That can't be a, yes. that can't be about that. That's how we got to where we're at. You understand? I'm just saying MC that. gun control. It's not about agenda and propaganda, okay? But it's about it's, straight to the is issue. Is it not true that you received $375,000 from the NRA whoa, whoa, last year? Whoa. Okay, look. <laughs> um, you have to understand that that is not what you're describing is, was already crossed off my appearance rider. And that I should... I, you... Is this live? Just answer the question. Uh, we were allowed to ask this question. Is it true that you received three hundred seventy-five thousand dollars? How do I get this the, off? How are do I get this off? Are you admitting that your parents' writer got, is money from the NRA? Sorry, well, I, well, I don't. Even, not that I need to ask, but what? That's a regular part of your parents' writer is accepting money from the NRA. Is what you just said? Yo, 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 yo. The issues is clear. Yo, from west coast to your ear, gonna go to the north, to the south, go through, through the spirit, out the mouth. Gun control is an issue. Yo, get your mama tissue. Gotta be aware of gun control there. Yo, okay, bye. So that's what you owe me five hundred thousand dollars. <laughs> bye. <laughs> Oh, that was Did he just run up gun the control. He that, went up the chimney. That was went, uh, wow. That that took Jeff, a was, Did you see me making those throat cutting gestures? Like I was like, did you, how, how, what are you doing? You were like interrogating our rapper, but then, holy fuck! Yeah, I, I, you it, you you are part of the problem. What, and, me? And, no, not you. MC Gun Controls. Yeah, part, no, yeah. I didn't know. I look when we booked him. <laughs> He just, it, it said gun control issues. So I was like, like gun right. control. Like I don't, I don't, I just, like, 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 it's like awareness of gun control. I, 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 I think that you're kind of one of those liberal elites that thinks when you hear the name MC Gun Control, you yeah. think he wants to ban guns. Yeah, no, he and, wants and, and he's, he's anti gun. He, he, he's he wants to open the debate about gun control. Right. But it's very clear that he's in the pocket of the NRA. Yeah, he wants to talk. I mean, what trigger locks? What <laughs> I mean, isn't? It, come on. The people who act like this issue is complicated, I should have known. I should have known. But it's, I just, I, I never even, I just wanted to get into the game and like help people, you know? I thought and that was all was, fine. Really? I thought His it was fine was too. Bad, I, thought it was, I thought it was fine. I thought uh, it was all right. An argument could be made that MC Gun Control, if it's true, that all he wants to do is is rap about gun control awareness. He just that, wants to talk. He wants to open up the issue. That then whatever you come into the, whatever you experience during, once you're aware, then we would hope, I would think, that the reason we want what we want is because more people want it. So, so uh, uh, look, I was shocked about to hear that he, he said he was paid by the. Well, he, I, I was simply asking the question, and I didn't get a good answer. I'll tell MC, you, I heard MC he, gun control. He said that he had crossed it out, but at one point his parents had a writer. Where they requested money from the NRA, I think three hundred seventy-five no, thousand dollars no, per that, gig. He was trying to argue the point that he was only allowed to talk about certain bullet points, and that, that he. No, no, I can't even look. Right. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! Yeah, you got, you got the elephant man is back on display. Um, I'm sure this will make all the Reuters and the. Is there and a the mic in the chimney? Indie Wire. Uh, tomorrow, look. I want to just. If I may speak, since that seemed to be the attraction of the century, um, if I may, if I may, I assume that my voice is something you'd want to hear. Am I, uh, I correct in that? Can we go back to the question that I asked you? Just get a simple yes or no yeah, answer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Okay. Um, did, did you or did you not receive money well, from the NRA uh, at any point in the last year? No. So you did not no. receive. Three hundred and seventy-five thousand dollars from the gun lobby. Here's the thing, okay? The foundation that pays me is an awareness raising organization. They have that. They that money came from the NRA. Yes, it did not go to guns. But so the NRA, went to us. The NRA is an awareness organization. That's why they're tax exempt. Are you just talking about the NRA again? Uh, yeah, I. Look, you can play gotcha games. Like, if you say anything enough, it'll sound real, but, like, I don't no, know. That is, a, that is a fact. The NRA is tax-exempt because they are raising awareness. <laughs> okay. I mean, I don't do taxes, so, like, I'm not an accountant, personally. I'm just a <laughs> trigger guard. 
and I'm in favor of gun control, um, and I'm a rapper. We have our- those are those are three things that are true, and then the thing that you said, I got back on that. Like that's why I came back. I I neutralized that. I got that. Are you the, a rapper? Uh, yes or yo, no? Yo, I'll, yes or no? Yo, I'll let uh, what, what, the what? rapping you heard what, answer what, that what, question. Uh, so what, no, what, why don't we? We were going to go to commercial, but can we put a beat on just to find out whether or not you're actually a rapper? Right. That's yeah, I, I, I can I get rapped. a beat on? No, no, no. I no. just I that, that rap was weak. Yeah. yeah. Oh, uh, it was weak. Oh shit! It's 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 DJ Gunman. Yeah. Gun control. A gun control. Oh, 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 oh. A gun control, oh, 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 oh. get your hands up, gun control, oh, oh, oh. gun control, two major town, yo, 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 yeah, 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 Technically racist, <laughs> but in case it wasn't, gun control. Okay, we we have to, we have to go to commercial. Yeah, uh, mesothelioma is a problem, and uh, go to mesothelioma book uh, to get your mesothelioma book. If you, if you suffer, and you or any member of your families suffer from mesothelioma, uh, that uh, we, we talk to our lawyers. Uh, <laughs> all right, we're back with. Don Le- <laughs> we're back with Don Lemon. Uh, it's the second time you've you've jokingly <laughs> cut to a commercial, but then the fact that you actually did a joke commercial, like it would have been the perfect place to every put commercial. A commercial. CNN did every you, commercial is mesothelioma. We can't. All we, we do cut is mesothelioma out. commercials. No, that I get being it. A, that was hard biting commentary. No, well, you were gone. Love, oh shit! We're back with uh, yeah. with with DJ Gun or MC well, Gun Control. While well, y'all were on break, sucking at. Kellogg's teat or whatever, whoever pays the rent That's around here. Deal. Believe me, they ain't no angels. Miss a life of ham, whatever that disease is. Can you can you guard other things? Yo. Other than triggers? Yo, I'm MC gun control. I'm not MC trigger guard. But but you are a trigger guard. I identify as a trigger guard. Can you I guard say, other things? I can guard whatever I want. Can you guard um? Can you guard my my dog from ten till four on Thursday? So yeah. I've got some shit in. Yeah. See, this is what I'm talking about. Yeah. See, that's now, exactly. I'll need, I'll I'm glad the, you. I'm glad you did that because okay. that's exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah. No. No. Um, I thought you wanted me to... No, things are going to change. Things are going to change. That's all I'm saying. Things are going to change. Hey. Like, everything's going to change, okay? Hey. So keep laughing, you keep laughing, but things are going to change, and then you're going to wonder what happened. <laughs> things are changing. Like what? Gun control, for one thing, you piece of shit. Whoa. Sorry. Hey, name calling gun is part of, the, of, of gun control. Name calling? Yeah. Name all calling. I, all I know is y'all gave me, I got air time, and it's just not, not really good. You're all just raising awareness of gun control. You, you, but you, you just got, keep saying gun control. Yeah, you You're can, not you gotta, talking about anything. What about yeah, the well, issues? <laughs> what about the issues? <laughs> the issues? First of all, guns. How's that for an issue? <laughs> 140 million people worldwide every day. How's that sound? What? What are they? What are they? 40 million assault rifles. What? 30,000 of them with high capacity magazines. Um, these are weapons that are top of the line. Like they are good at killing people. Are, are you, you for ad- that? Is this an I advertisement? I'm for raising guns? awareness. Are you selling guns? That's a commercial. Yo. No. We, we have to cut the commercial. Okay, here we go. Mesobook.com uh, helps you with me- get mesothelioma. Uh, get, you, get yourself some mesothelioma. Find the mesothelioma we, we, that's we, right for you. Yeah. If you, uh, ask your doctor if you have mesothelioma. Meso- if you, if you... Mesothelioma. <laughs> that's... Hey... Oh, it's Mr. Miso, the mesothelioma gecko. Mesothelioma. You know him from ads such as Ricola. You, <laughs> you don't recognize the sulkin tones of of of, of Mama Theolona, the, 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 the mesothelioma. Mama Theolona. 
<laughs> oh, she, mama. It's her silhouette on the box. It's mama calling, the from the, calling from the Cuban <laughs> Alps. <laughs> it starts off as like a... As like a <laughs> Breaking news. Okay. We're going to go back to the <laughs> thing we were talking about for 45 minutes. Because CNN doesn't know what breaking news is. Oh, yeah. There's an empty chair. We think Trump might have sat in it or will sit in it sometime. This will be eight hours of, of a static image of video. A lot of sides. Oh, oh shit. Fucking go home. <laughs> My album drops. Yeah. Do you want to do a plug before we go back to music? Mis- yeah, Mis- I got a mixtape coming up. Two mixtapes. One side each. Good. For your mixtape, that's good. Because if it, if, if it didn't have a like a second side, it would be like... We actually two dimensional. We, we actually have enough time to play one of your tracks. Can we play your new hit off the off the A side? Well, you know how mixtapes work. You're usually using other people's work and yeah, stuff. So, yeah, so, so let, let, let's I don't say, know if you can play. Let, that. Let's play a clip of your of, what I of your A side. No, we 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 have enough time. So let's can we can we get the okay. A side to the uh, to? And I hear there's a comedy break in the middle of it. <laughs> I I hear you go into some gun control. Kind of stand up, but it still rhymes. That's and for I told, you to decide. I heard that halfway through you broke your ankle, and then the rest of the recording is just a live transcript of the hospital. Yep. <laughs> I Can heard you I also got wrong. John Lithgow to do a guest. <laughs> as the doctor, oh, yeah. yeah. As you the doctor. actually you we, collaborated you with got him on this John time? Lithgow and, <laughs> and Vincent Price to, to be on To be on this track with you. Yeah, track. yeah, in the time it took you all to describe that there's a rap about gun control with Vincent Price in it. It goes into a sketch that gets interrupted with an injury, that's part of which is real audio from my hospital trip. But then we did pick up so John Lithgow was the doctor. You could have just listened to the track. Well, why, why, why don't we, we have just enough time before our, la- our last commercial break. Can we get a beat on? It's 9 11. Oh, oh, is that an alarm the clock is making? Oh. Why do we turn it off? Oh. Oh. Shit. It's 9 11 yeah. right now. Gun control is a major issue. Get your mama on the that issue. I'm a gun, gun control rapper. Gun control is on the roll. Put the hammer on the lever and go out the door. Got the barrels and the chambers. And the bump stock's gonna be a lifesaver. Mr. Gun Control, they call me on Monday. Then on Tuesday, they call me Mr. Gun Control. Then on Wednesday, they call me something different because I MC. So they drop the mister and call me MC Gun Control. MC Gun Control is what I am Wednesday through Thursday. Then on Friday, I do yoga and they call me Laknari. I also forgot that Lady Gaga does the hook on this. Gun Control. Gun Control, yo. What's a gun without control? Put the trigger on your finger, pull it back, let the feeling linger. That's exactly what happens when you buy a gun. Gun control awareness is number one for against. What you talking about? Be aware of it before you are an astronaut. We're gonna blast ourselves into space, the whole human race in your gun face. John, let's go. I want. Gun control! Get out of here! Harry Henderson! Gun control! John Lithgow, L to the I, T H G O W, don't know why. I'm just a man from outer space. I'm gonna here to save the gun control awareness race. Hey, gun control, be aware of it all. I'm the Lithgow! Yo, yo, yo! That, was, that didn't work out very good. That also, though, I... Ow, my leg. Oh, that really happened, though. No, leave it. Leave it. Leave it in the song. Leave it. No, cut it. Cut it. I gotta go. No, leave it. No, leave it. <laughs> Vincent Price. Vincent Price breakdown. Sp- spooky Vincent Price breakdown. 
One, two, bullets in my shoe, spooky spiders coming for you. Everything's sinister when you're gay and you're not allowed to say it today. One day in the future I'll be allowed, but all the children will be overplowed with bullets. That's the real mummy. <laughs> Special feature. That's the real mummy. <laughs> Real mummy. That's the real mummy. <laughs> did, did Vincent? Did, did, did I, Vincent Price posthumously come out <laughs> in that song? Yeah, he, he wow. said he wasn't allowed back then. <laughs> right, because Makes it sense. was sinister. Celluloid closet. Yeah, he probably so saw that. But he wish he was here in today, where he would be more accepted. But, but he's like, how ironic! My kids would be killed, or the, the, yeah, the my friends' that kids, is or my adopted kids. Yeah, because because gay. Okay. Yeah. It's all right. Yeah. I like him better because he's gay. Dude, wait, don't even imply that that's not the case with me. You just tried to high road me about, about gay Vincent Price. I, he's just, my hero. You just made a mistake because I wasn't. Right. Well, maybe you're obsessed with gayness because you think it's like more important than all the great work he did pricing. I don't think so. Well, <laughs> seems weird. Who do you think won? Vote now. <laughs> Don't forget, your spider votes will climb up your face and make you scared. <laughs> looks like uh, looks like you uh, guys had a real fun time at that toga party this weekend. Wow, wow! Everybody got uh, in, dressed up and. Yeah, and, it must uh, have been real nice. Must have been real nice being invited fun. to one of those. Wow, how how was that? I agree. It looked good. It looked fun. Yeah, it looked like real a lot of fun. fun. I, you sent Steve Levy off to go. Yeah. from the from the March for Our Lives. Yeah, Steve Levy had to go off and buy togas to a party that seemed pretty pretty fun. Seems looked pretty like fun. fun. Really pretty fun. Seemed like a like good what? idea. Dino was you there. Like the Steve was there. We can't invite Cody you, as a matter there. of fact, doesn't it? Wow. Yeah. Yeah. I can't invite you guys to a toga party. you do like every weekend? I don't. I was a guest at a toga party so you didn't have fun i had plenty of fun okay <laughs> all right this yeah, guilt i was guy i can't invite uh other people to a dude the friends uh, of the voice in your head we all like michael it was his engagement party our friend michael waldron who works at starburns industry and you and, and you were like oh shab and and, and davis and, I know and george and aren't, aren't here i guess okay he pro right. dan probably just thought that we didn't support their engagement so i don't think he that's yeah, probably why Dan thought. didn't invite us to I Michael's it, I don't engagement it a party. Thought. I just remembered oh, no, I favorite. did a thing. Here's a here's a weird thing I did at the part at Michael Waldron's uh, uh, toga themed uh, engagement party. He had a basket of uh, of blankets that were kind of like, I think they were like like leave behinds, like 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 party favors. Like you, it's a toga party. You might get cold. We're on a patio. Take this night. They got ordered. They got a bunch of blankets, and I think you could like wrap it around your shoulder and then leave with it. It's kind of a kind of a thoughtful. Interesting little artisanal idea. I uh, I started realizing uh, at some point, I bet it's going to get cold. And I saw somebody wearing one of them. And I here's what I did. I went down to the basket because I was, I was like, I'm hot right now. The sun's out. But it's going to get cold later. And these blankets are going to be gone. So I took a blanket, a free blanket that was like in a full basket, like representing all this hospitality. And I... I like I imagine, I was like hunched over, like a like a candy cane posture, because I became just this stop motion villain. I creeped off into the underbrush, uh, uh, the outskirts of their home, and I, uh, it the, the blanket is probably still there right now because I hid it. You hid, I hid it. the blanket you, you, the way I hid uh, the Brown Deer Public Library's only copy of Slaughterhouse Five because I had too many books and I couldn't get it, so I hid it because no one else deserved it. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Steve, but you, you, can you, you text Michael about that? So you that? never wore the blanket? No, I never needed it. It was fine. The but weather was fine and there were plenty it. of blankets to go around. You and... didn't go and retrieve it and put it back in the blanket nope. basket? Nope. It wasn't the issue. Because you were too ashamed. Then. Well, no, I never thought about it again. I'm a fucking sociopath. <laughs> <laughs> Dan, I've known you for a long time. I, you've committed various crimes. That's, that's your most egregious. I didn't. I'm not a sociopath because I, like, whatever the I, I, like, like it was the opposite problem. A sociopath would be like, well, maybe it'll get cold. I guess I could mug one of these people for their blankets or whatever. Oh, God. Uh, no, like, a sociopath like, like, would I, I steal was a like blanket so and never use it and never put it back. That's what a sociopath does. So you were there okay, and you were well, like, partially, yeah. oh, I don't miss my friends. <laughs> I, I, it, it, it's it's a, someone else's engagement party. Like, what what do you guys want them to do? Invite every human? Uh, look, I'm not even. Gonna, I'll have I, you know, I was invited. 
Snap talked oh, to him. Shit. He threw this shit away. At the end of the march, Cody was like, okay, so like I'll see you later, right? And I was like, what? And she's oh. like, Waldron's thing. And That's I was like, what thing? And she was like, ooh. Happens, happens I all the like, time. I don't I guess know I Waldron invited, well enough to be so that I was invited, later. but like, you know Waldron probably better than I do, Church, because you work with him day in and yeah. day out. Day in and day out. Fucking Every day. Michael Waldron. I see him Wednesdays also, at the meeting. Michael Waldron is probably one of the biggest <laughs> donators to the NRA that works at Starburns. <laughs> I think he bankrolled MC. He, he follow, the, follow the money, Rob. Church, follow, follow the money follow on the money. both sides. Yeah. There are many sides to this issue. Follow money. the money is such a funny goddamn phrase. <laughs> I remember like follow somebody, the money. Somebody, uh, somebody it's pointed out great. that Pat Sajak uh, was uh, that his his Twitter account is just him in his twilight years, kind of like he he was a big climate change denier. It was, it was, Twitter Hell page, yeah. and then he would he would use hashtag he would he would say stuff about climate change being full of shit, and then he'd use the hashtag follow the money. You're supposed to follow the climate change non denial money. Where does that money go? It's I mean, I, 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 know, I guess we'll probably big business it, it climate change. Works. You, 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 to Pizza Gate. You know where that money goes to buying more vowels. Yeah. Games at Chuck Woolery. That's a hilarious joke. <laughs> See that's why that's why I missed the live audience because buying vowels. Uh, oh, it would have killed. I, but don't you think it's nice that we got used to not needing an audience? I like that because it's like oh, you God, just respect guys. jokes for what they are, regardless of the reaction they get. Well, or not laugh at them. Yeah, I just go like it's like it's like it's like we're gonna have, we're gonna go start doing shows. We're getting kicked out of here next. We're gonna start doing shows with an audience. Yeah, we haven't even mentioned that. I, on the I, show. I, I'm doing a, I'm doing an all live show at the Saban Theater in Beverly Hills. It's all um, Steven Tyler jokes. Starburns. Oh, oh man, not this again. God damn it, Jesus. Davis. <laughs> By the way, the the week that you decided to take off is the week we had to do ads for the fucking boner pill bald people. Yeah. <laughs> That you talked us into doing. What? I yeah, I didn't do talk anything. Oh, I please, my God! I said, oh I my! Said we could make it funny, but it wasn't like I was like. Oh, well, we made it funny. Yeah, me I and mean, Dan made it real funny. Can we play it back? Do we have? Do we have the audio on that? No, I don't want you. Yeah, to. yeah, play it back. Let's take the time to find it, <laughs> and then pipe it through the sound system. For the, and play for it back the, for the no audience for that we have. Jeff who we're, hasn't heard it. Let's just take. We're, we're on a stage. What? With, 30, just 40 put it minutes at the top to of this episode. We're, we're on a stage with with lights, but there's no audience. We're basically just gl let gl do it. Glorified. Let's do it. Scalar brothers. I can do it. Wait, so you're saying that it's my fault that you guys did a bad boner pill ad? Or I'm not saying it's I your fault. Doing. I'm saying I'm saying I'm saying that that that. Come on. You know that's ours. I'm saying it's ironic that w that the the night that you were like, nah, can I not come in? Which, uh, by the way, the answer is always yes because really the alternative. No one, no, you don't. No one, no one. Really, we no, have a choice. No one should be forced to be here. Don't, don't you, don't I'm not you start. Forced to be here. We, I, yeah. I don't even know if you're asked to be here tonight. I don't know if I was asked to be here either. You, you were supposed to yeah, so you're up. definitely not, I'm actually not asked digging into that. Here. You were actually asked to not be at the show tonight. That I believe. <laughs> I'm not digging into that. That I here, believe. Rob. That I believe. Yeah. Do you know in prison they call hands dick beaters? <laughs> <laughs> it's been how long? An hour, 20 minutes. I've been sitting on that all night. Dick Y'all beaters hands? or dick beaters? Dick beaters. Dick beaters. <laughs> Yo, man, get those dick beaters off of me. Yo, man, don't be touching my shit with those dick beaters. <laughs> man, you gotta, you gotta type that program in with uh, dick beaters. <laughs> That's the computer lab. Uh, so take your dick beater and ball it into a fist. So I made it with my own two dick, dick beaters. beaters. Do they say it every time? Like, like, like hey, every, every single. If you say, "Give, give me a, a hand," they won't. They will let's, just stare at you in confusion. Let's give him a big dick, Peter. Uh, hey. Hey. Comedy isn't easy, folks. Come on, Johnny Cash is here. Put your dick beaters together. <laughs> Put your dick beaters together. I see a Should show of dick beaters. Who liked the Salisbury steak? <laughs> Raise Five, your dick six, beater. Seven, nine, five, uh, five, uh, Twenty-five. A dick show of dick beaters. A show of dick beaters. By a show. By a show of dick beaters. Show of dick beaters. It's Cell good, block right? eight. Uh, I will learn that on a podcast. Do you want Salisbury steak tonight or or, or fried chicken? <laughs> My show of dick meters. 
Sorry. <laughs> I've, I'm still tickled pink by that. It's funny. <laughs> uh, tickled so, pink by Dick so, so, Peters. So I, I, I'm sorry I missed that show, but was it, was it a goodie? I don't, you know, are they? They're they're never good. I, I it's it's just we show up and we'll come. What it may, was a precocious you know? episode. It was it was. It was uh, I mean, it was Tonight Show good? It wasn't. I mean, whatever. We, was who, who wants to open that box? That's we'll so, find out. Talking right about, after this. Uh, oh, it's, uh, the kids and the oh. tonight. Oh, sorry, we're going to commercial. Mesothelioma. Right after this. Gold bond powder. Gold bond powder. Gold bond powder. It's powder that is gold. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> <laughs> ah! <laughs> I'm Lewis Johnson Jr. <laughs> I'm cured. <laughs> Gold bond powder cures mesothelioma. <laughs> and makes you fly. Goodbye. Sure. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Ditches and Dragons, do we play? <laughs> oh, yeah. Let's play a, let's play, let's play a shitload of D&D. All right. Well, All how right. much is a shitload? Are we... It's, I mean... It's two buttloads. Oh yeah. <laughs> if you, you want to know? Oh yeah, like no, we're right on. We're right on schedule. All right, let's bring in Steve Levy, and maybe we'll say uh, uh -huh. a, a sad farewell to uh, to church, everybody. Wah. Wah. Don't, think it, don't think it was losing a church. Think it was gaining a Levy. My Steve phone Levy. pronounces it Levi. Steve Levy, he's Steve about Levy. as in control. You as had a, a good time stock. at the toga party. I had a like great time. I fucking shut and... that place down. I closed it down last night. You were like, go home. Yeah. Get out of here. Yeah. He doesn't like you guys anymore. Get the fuck Steve out of here. Steve Levy is a caliber of performer capable of removing the human head at 50 yards. Now ask yourself. <laughs> Is that a powerful gun? We think it is. At the MC Gun Control Foundation. <laughs> Can't pin him down! <laughs> Can't pin him down! That's the formula! formula. It's like, it's Pat! But ideologically! Steve Levy! Steve Levi! Yeah. Depending on your phone's preference! Steve Levy. Steve Levy. Have you ever seen... What? Nothing. So, sorry. <laughs> <coughs> so anyway, I was uh, walking to the grocery store and... Uh, okay. All right. Okay, it's been, it's been a thousand years. We, we, we might need a good, proper... Mm. Five minute recap to mm. bring us back up to speed. Mm. Okay. I, think I, I think I need a soda. I don't Wait. know that we have soda. Uh, all right. Oh, probably no music. Um, I don't remember what happened. We, they, we were in Dornester, and then they, there was Shrove, they, and there was a dragon. They went into the theater, and then they went to the basement, and they, they were about right. to enter the So door. they had just not given up, and uh, diarrhea ran off, and then you guys decided to look for him. Uh, you decided that the most obvious place to look for him was in the theater. Um, and then you went, you broke into the theater, you went into the kitchen, you went to the stage looking around. Oh shit, there's soda. Someone get me a soda. Um, and, um, then, then I, what happened? I, I have written down. Oh, you we, start making poop noises. We were, making we were, sounds. Yeah, we were yeah. bursting in and a fight was, I think we had just kind of burst in the door. Right. They were about to have their, uh, well, that's the end. Though. Butch Cassidy yeah, that's moment. Right. Right. So we're, we're in the theater trying to <laughs> rescue DJ? Yeah, so DJ is tied up. Oh, thanks so much. DJ's tied up. Uh, who else is tied up? Patchens is also tied up. Yes. And you guys just burst through the room. <laughs> Um, and, uh, yeah, you were, you were, you were going, it was All about right. to be the start of combat or something. Here we go. Yeah. So, so who, who are we looking at? I, I, I look, I examine my surroundings. Hell yeah. That's the best thing anyone can do. <laughs> oh, fucking God damn it. Shrub just spilled his 
Kiss Me I'm Monday mug. He's, every he's you can get to your sell kiss more me Kiss Me I'm Monday, Monday mugs. mugs. Yeah, that's why. Dude, I couldn't, man. I couldn't if I tried. All right. So you're in an under. Yeah. You're this in an guy, underground that room. That was the most shameless pr- pretend mugs pill. Just to sell more of your wonderfully reasonably priced mugs which we've already heard of selling well not that you need more more sales there was a point in but our, you'll it, get them there was a point in our Harmontown team meeting where we were mad that you're selling more mugs and we don't have any merchandise but Rob Schraub is cleaning up in that kiss me on Monday mug business the other one is closing in we Fast. know that was the other part of the was it called the, how's your free mug ass dick yeah yeah that's exactly <laughs> what it is Good old Gary Shambling. I mean, he sold a hundred of them. That's what I heard. He's cleaning up. What's the price point on one of your mugs, Rob? I don't know. Um, I don't know. I get like two bucks a mug. Two bucks a mug? That's almost two hundred dollars. Yeah. I, I mean, mean, we shouldn't be so quick to fill his coffers before worrying about our bottom line. <laughs> two. You can buy them on tpublic.com at Rob Schraub's store. <laughs> I find him offensive, and I don't think they'll forward talk. slash. I don't give a shit. Forward slash Weinstein. Hmm. Now, don't even, don't even. Why you gotta do I'm, that? I'm just looking. Why on, you have to destroy? Wait, I'm on. looking Join. online, and I'm just trying to find how to buy one of your one of your pro sexual harassment. Stop months. it! All right. Let's play D and D. Yes, now. instead of shit. Rob's playing his character from Dead Alewives sketch. What? It makes sense to the right people. You're in an underground room. <laughs> um, no, so you're in a low ceilinged underground room, black wooden sta- uh, stained wooden boards. Um, there's there's low lit uh, like from candles that are on the walls. Um, there's there's a table and a couple chairs. Yeah, diarrhea is tied up against the wall, and you see against the opposite wall, Patchens is tied up. He seems knocked out. There's three people who, upon bur- you bur- bursting in the room, just leapt to their feet and are scrambling for their weapons right now as 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 we speak. Where am I? Um, you <laughs> are uh, at home. I thought I I didn't I thought I came came along. Well, they left. They left the town. Yeah, I thought I came along. You can. I thought I did. Okay. Well, you will arrive shortly. Okay. I will arrive shortly. Mm-hmm. Like in one turn or so. But okay. you'll, you'll burst in because you'll be catching up. Okay. So how, how close is DJ... How close are DJ and, and Patchens to each other, and how close to our foes here? DJ is 20 feet from you. Patchens is about 10 feet from you. And, um, and the enemies? They're... Uh, like halfway, they're closer. They're kind of okay. in and, and the they're, middle. They're humans. Um, there's one orc. There's two humans and one orc. Um, I, I I turn to uh, what's your name, Carlos? Mm-hmm. I said, Carlos, why don't you uh, op- <laughs> open the bidding on on this ass kicking, gentlemen? Uh, I've been put in charge of opening the ass kicking. <laughs> I'm going to cast uh, Summon Monster 2. Yeah. Okay. And, and I've selected the monster that I'd like to summon. All right. And its name is Goblin Dog. <laughs> Goblin Dog. Sounds good. It's my favorite. favorite. I'm going to go Goblin some dog, man. I'm gonna go well, go Goblin Dogs, no. They, there's a built-in, like, they're not going to attack my friends. Your Summon Monsters tend to, I think, attack enemies. Young girls may call him the goblin dog. If you're just joining us, and I think that's how people watch information these days, they flip through channels on their laptop. I've just summoned a goblin dog. And it arrives His presently. His name is what? Well, I didn't name him. Yeah, no. it comes right. from a different plane. He's going to be gone. I mean, I don't. I mean, it's a lick, but... You don't want to get too close. Rufus. Well, <laughs> The goblin dog leaps into existence. It has the frame of like a, a marmaduke kind of dog, but it's the shape and 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 fashion of more of a giant rat. So G- it's greetings. Like... Oh. Oh no. Oh, he Rob's talks. Rob's playing the goblin. Hello, dog. you. It does everyone. seem that way. I heard that I was summoned. <laughs> oh boy. 
Uh, hey, Goblin Dog. Yes. Uh, yes. Do you have a name? Rufus. <laughs> Rufus. The Goblin Dog. Well, uh, why not uh, cut the jibber jabber and uh, get get to fighting? I'm going to cut some of this jibber and jabber. Let me put on my bib and my pull out my knife and fork. And I'm gonna go after these baddies. Wait, I, I, do, I, are you gonna eat them, or, you, or do, do you use knife and fork as weapons? Uh, what knife and fork? <laughs> I'm gonna eat them. Okay, all right. What do you do I, I, when you I, put I, on a bib and you I pull out your I, knife and fork I, and lick I, your I, lips? I have limited goblin dog experience. I, I, I'm just what the, what the fuck are you would do? Their, <laughs> sorry, sorry, uh, I asked. Would do their taxes with a fork and a knife? Dan is fidget spinning. Okay, the, uh, okay, okay, okay. I'm getting the light here. See. I better move. No, no, I'm just I'm, no. I, that was a joke for Cody because I. I, I do you think she watch? She's watching. No, she's probably. She's got to be. She's have fallen left. in love with someone else by now. Okay, here I go. Attack. Attacking. <laughs> uh, how do you do it? Describe it. Well, what I'm going to do is I have my my knife, which is very sharp, okay. and my fork, which has got four prongs in it, and I'm going to just kind of stab and cut and chew and bite and you know, in between, I might dab my chin with my bib. That happens. Uh, you hit one of the guys as he's going for a weapon, and he takes five damage. Yeah, that's right. With the fork and knife. Can yeah. you describe the damage? Like, like how I'm, I want to know how the, this goblin dog uses his fork, fork and knife. Like you'd use a fork and knife. There's little slices and and what is the sets big of four conundrum holes. here? It's a fork and a knife. You go. What are you going to do with that? What do you? What? The, who is? Is he with you? Could somebody explain? Uh, he doesn't have hands. He's a. Dog. You don't know that. Steve, you're up next. I'm still tied up, right? Yep, but you can spend an action. Oh. Uh, Chad, uh, 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 untie me. I go over and untie uh, uh, DJ. Oh, that's great, because it's now your turn. Um, do you have dexterity? What's your dexterity? Do I have dexterity, he asks. I do. My dexterity is 16. You gotta eat that mic, bro. Yeah, bro. Sixteen. Um, it doesn't. It doesn't work. It's it's tied really tight in the in the thick of battle. You're and trying, telling me sixteen. To you can't untie, can't untie this. A rump. He's trying to avoid being hit and stuff too. Okay. It's like you're dodging ca- attacks. All right. Uh, do, do I get like do I do I loosen it a little bit? Thanks for nothing. Oh yeah, you loosen it a lot. <laughs> um. Okay. It's bad guy's turn. They finish scrambling to their weapons. Um, you can see one of them is like pulling on like a big robot puncher glove kind of thing, like a big full body arm. And the other guy has something that looks kind of like a, like a handgun, just like a modern day handgun. Jeez. And then the other guy grabs a sword and as he, and he, as he holds it aloft, it's like, whoo, and it becomes fire sword. Oh shit. Jeez. I love fire. And then they, <laughs> they form like a three man formation that looks going to bring a fire sword to Chad, the fire liker fight. Can you over uh, light his sword so that it's just burning his hand? I kind of like it. Hang on. Do do I have a spell that that I I can control fire right? Uh, to an extent, there's a spell you have control fire. I think it's Dan's turn though. Gentlemen, there's no need for a quarrel between the Church of the Silver Flame and the Dragon Marked. <laughs> I have to. Yeah. You certainly seem to think you know what you're talking about, but none of that means anything to me. Oh. Haha. What? It's you know, like this is during combat. Oh, right. Yeah, well I <laughs> I was mostly thinking that stuff. Oh, um, sorry. <laughs> no, no. I mean I, I, I thought I was gonna I, I, I I'm willing to I I I did want to take a shot at like just communicating with them and you're saying it didn't work. Yeah, right? they so. were the incorrect so I kind of lose. I, I don't get to also then go. In that case, I'll yeah, smash their brains in. Yeah, no, you get free. You get free talking. Oh. Is that like host privilege? No, it's within reason. You can you couldn't like read a book, but you could like have a few. Because I'm like charging my spirit hands and going, gentlemen, you really don't. Okay, and now here's the thing. Whoo hoo, boy, oh boy, I am gonna. 
I am going to uh, cast Divine Favor on... No, you know, wait, wait, hold on a second. I want to see if there's anything I can do to get... Here, uh, hear him out. Let him talk. Well, I just want to, I just, for a second there, I was like, wait, I should be focusing on getting anyway, diarrhea I, I, free. I'm just saying, because they, they saw you kind of Shit. fishing, so I, I'm saying, let, 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 let the man I'm talk. Gonna, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cast... Um, uh, I'm going to cast Divine Favor on Chad, which is, oh, it just gives him uh, plus one yeah. for every three levels. You've done it. You touch him with your magic finger, and it uh, it enhances him with God's might. I just thought, you're over there. You're doing great. Yeah. <sighs> just want to support. Goblin dog. Signal boost. Okay, now it's my turn. I grab the nearest one by the leg and chew on it like corn on the cob. The same one you attacked? Sorry, I didn't the hear The closest. That okay, let's say it's the same one. All right, you miss. You lunge I miss at his... chewing on his leg. <laughs> you lunge at his leg as I if to miss chew. until I'm doing this to the air? That it's... makes no sense. You find yourself chewing the leg of a table and or chair. Is it really dark? You can't tell because you're too close. Too close to the table leg. Or chair. Or chair mm -hmm. to know if it's a chair. Have you ever tried to eat a guy's leg who didn't want his leg eaten? There's yeah, as a, I did last week. Yeah, Were you whoa. there? No? Oh, okay. Guess you wouldn't know. Sorry. So you chewed it? You successfully chewed the last yep. guy's? How did you know that he didn't want his leg chewed? He said, ouch. S Spence, I want to use my knowledge of engineering to get myself out of these... Uh, sh the... the, the Rope. Yeah, ropes, yeah. Do you have that as a skill? Are there ranks by it? Uh, it says total bonus six. Okay. You do it. Using your keen, like, Sherlock Holmes movie vision, you, you see the, yeah. the holes in the knots and stuff, and you are able to to quickly shout the instructions necessary to... Uh, I play. shout them? Well, if you wanted, you could tell Chad exactly how to do it, since you can't, you can't move, you know? Oh, <laughs> uh, Chad, you got to stick your thing in the loop here and then pull real hard and then go underneath me and then lift me up on your shoulders and then drop me real fast and then pull the biggest loop real hard. Like a yo-yo. I do that. All right. He flips around like a yo-yo and is very quickly on his feet and untied, although you don't have your stuff with you. I don't have my stuff. No, you can take uh, you can take some sort of action now because that was. Can I can I use charge to get my stuff? You don't know where your stuff is. Oh, I don't know where it is. Not offhand. You kind of just regained consciousness recently. All right. Well, I want to be a distraction, so I'm just gonna run in circles, yelling, "Eat my ass, bastards!" and try to make them really confused. I'm not telling you not to do that. All right. But. You love that idea. Before you do that, you get the sense that doing that will open you up to between three and seven attacks. Oh, dude. <laughs> By realizing the rules of the game. That's how you know this stuff. But those would all be people who would otherwise attack us. Yeah, that's the, that's the thinking. But no, they're free attacks. So it's oh. you'd be taking free damage. Oh. Three? Free. Free. <laughs> Um, it wouldn't profit me at all if you did that. Oh, okay. You can you can try and be distracting, but like running near them in a circle, I think is, is well the most dangerous way to be distracting. Okay. Well, then I I I look around the room while I yell, "Eat my ass, bastards!" Okay. So you're just trying to be distracting without suicide. Um, <laughs> it's not it's not very distracting. They quickly clock that you're unarmed and just trying to be distracting, and it, it yeah. I'm sorry. I need better dice. What? So, did I die? No, but your distraction is not distracting. Oh. Do I see where my stuff is? No, you're just running around being distracting. Okay. That's fine. That's that's a success in my mind. I, uh... I, can I cast a level one and a level two, or just like... Just one. Two different turns. Yeah, yeah. Two different uh, okay, tree shape. I turn into a tree. <laughs> hmm. But but there, there, 
there's a lead up to this. There's going to be right. something else that happens. I just I become a tree that gives me plus ten to my armor class. Oh yeah, I'm a tree now. Wow. Are we like we're in the middle of a room? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm now a fucking tree in the middle of the room, and I I, I kind of like do I have facial features or am I just a full on tree? Um, you have two things that might look kind of like eyes okay I, I i take one limb and kind of like give my team a thumbs okay. up like, right, right. like this is gonna pay off yeah but right they now, instantly I, understand I, I, i'm banking <laughs> on the fact that me turning into a tree in the middle of a combat is gonna fucking freak them out and put them off like put them on their back heel for a moment Whoa. you bank on that yes no. you're a beautiful tree thank you a so shambling mount appears oh, hey! yeah. how are you doing Very just sh coming oh. through me and Gary, that's me too. I'm walking through the building, and I'm seeing a tree, and you and he, and we're going to be friends forever. I'm here. What's going on, guys? Uh, the, the, well, the, the tide of the battle is turning. <laughs> I thought I'd just haunt You just fucking wings. nailed that. Yeah. I, I, I'm, a, I'm a tree. I can't talk. Oh, I'm a tree. Hey. Play it cool, Gary. Hello, how you doing? Play Who's it this cool. dog creature? Well, I uh, was summoned to uh, uh, help out here. <laughs> really? I gave you plus one on all of your right. defense and offense, and you turned into a tree. Wait, get, shush, shush, is this, I a have another tree? spell. I, just just like do, get through another round and just watch. Okay. What? Somebody explain to me what's been going on since I, I turned, showed up. I turned before. myself into a You turned into a tree. Talk without becoming, moving your, talk without moving your limbs. This speech to take a turn. What? Like if you keep like this is this is a lot of speech like right <laughs> we're in combat so uh -huh. if you keep talking then you're not well gonna I have... need to know what's going on well you can see that with your uh, I can see sensory... what happened before I showed up no what currently is happening but I don't know what's going on so no you can somebody's see gotta what's let going me know on. no I'm, te I'm telling you you can see what's going on before I came here I could see what's going on no you're on. currently here and you can currently see currently what's going there's on there's a currently. fight going what's on what's going on I'm a tree and there's a fight happening. get the guys that you don't know hit the people that you don't know who they are okay I, I, I grab the guy who's got the flaming sword and I grab him by the wrist and I shake it <laughs> and I go what are, you, what are you doing put that down put it down what are you doing all right Wait. what are you doing with that Put it down! No, put it down! What are you doing? What are you doing with that? Come on! What are you doing with that? We put a flame and shoot. What are you? Put it down! All right. You do that. You lunge at him, and he slashes you with his flaming sword. It deals 18 damage. Oh, <laughs> even if I, even after I was saying all of that. Yeah, no. But then you grab him, and then you like you can you grab him with your massive shambling arm him, and you like crush his wrist. But right. So now you're holding him by the wrist, and you got him by his sword. Right. Hand, but yeah. in that process, you took damage. How much health does Shambling have? Yeah, <laughs> well, that doesn't sound good. No, no, you have a lot. That's I what I was lot. laughing See, about. But I'm, but, but, did you tell him that I'm saying all this stuff? That I'm shaking did his hand and I'm saying, him? tell him that I'm saying, like, oh, I told. Put him. it down. What are you doing? No, I told. What him. are you doing? You slashing me? What if I did that to you? You wouldn't like it. All right, wouldn't like it. So keep acting like this. I'm gonna take your pants down from all these people. Whose turn is it now? It's my turn. I'm going to give you a licking. All right. One of the guys, he uh, he identifies the Shambling Mound as the biggest threat. And uh, hey, he, uh, he, this guy I is. I get known. <laughs> I'm known here. This guy's the puncher guy. He's he's the orc. And um, oh, yeah. He, he tries to punch at you. Oh. His. Uh, he, he he charges up his punch, right? And it's like this big robot device, and you can see it's all like whirring and steaming and, and pistoning, it's and like it just Doomfist. explodes. His fist explodes? Yeah, it just explodes. Like a misfire? Yeah. So th that was a critical fail on a robot punch? Yeah, it blows him in half. <laughs> Do he died? Yeah. Hell yeah. What? 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 <laughs> Through no fault of your own. You scared him to explosion. You see that? You see what happens? <laughs> You see what happens? Drop it. All right. Put the other down. guy, shoot. He, he points the gun at you guys and shoots it, and it, it fires like it looks like a lightning bolt. It's if someone just cast lightning bolt, and it uh. just blasts through the room. It, it uh. cuts through the room 
It hits uh, all what four of you guys. What caliber is that? <laughs> what caliber is that? Uh, For how much damage, bolt? Spence? Four d six. No, three d six. I'm gonna... We all get hit. Yeah, you all get hit. I oh ducked. Yep. I can't. I can't remember my hit points. Look at your sheet. Well, I'm looking at it, but I can't remember how much damage I have had. We all had healed before. <laughs> it's not true. <laughs> but I, it's not true. <laughs> but, 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 remember, it. I'm a tree right now with plus 10 to my uh, armor class. Oh, right. And trees yeah. actually have lightning resistance. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if that's no, true. Shambling okay. Mound because has got well, lightning <laughs> resistance. <laughs> that might be true. You guys are going to... You guys are going to be so proud of me when you find out why I turned myself into so a tree. Dan better be a good pun damage. at the end of this. I take nine damage. Be a pun. I mean, I honestly, I don't. I don't I remember you having fourteen, but I could be wrong. Okay, I'll go with that. that sounds right. So I now have uh, five. Five. If I'm right. Yeah. That's wait. We right. took eleven damage. No, he took nine damage. You took thirteen damage. What? Wow. You got hit harder. I didn't get any. I didn't take any damage. No, I got to see if you're resistant. I shamble out of the way of the lightning. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're immune to electricity. <laughs> See? Yeah. And all, That's since, why you turn yourself into a tree. And yeah. he is <laughs> I'm like too. Swamp Thing, motherfucker. Motherfucker, I'm like Swamp Thing. I'm immune to electricity, motherfucker. Motherfucker. Motherfucker, I'm immune. Carlos, do you have a group healing spell? Um... If you, have, if you have channel energy, you do. I have channel energy. Tune I, into I, channel wasn't energy. What I was going to do next. You but. don't have to. I, <laughs> and I don't even know. Well, I'm. I mean, I'm. I'm. I think I'm close to death here. Okay. All right. Fine. Everyone within thirty feet gets a two d six heal if I channel energy. Hey, no harm. All right, so, Dan, you get back five, and you two get back six. But mm. you haven't taken damage, right? No, because I'm a tree. Right, yeah. So, but, I, but I took damage before, man. Can yes. I get some of that You healing? get six. I get healed. Six. I get six healed. Yeah. So Are you keeping track Steven, of this? Because I don't so have a you're pencil. At, you're at ten now. Somebody. I'm not. You're not All keeping right. track of it? No. I, don't I mean, I'm loosely keeping track of it. Okay. Well, how, how, much, loosely... how much HP does Shambling have overall? He's taken 12 damage at this point. But what's his total? What was his total? How you don't much know. am I giving? Uh, okay. Sorry. You go. Oh, no. Oh, oh, what were you saying? Well, no, I cast the chat channel's energy. Okay, it's there. Goblin Dog's last turn. Do you want to have him do anything? Yes. Give me, oh, give me oh, something to do. Well, just uh, attack uh, the you can attack me? looking guy. What did I do? It's his last attack before he goes away. Mm -hmm. um, well, Make it and, good. And, and Diarrhea Jr.'s been freed of his tethers. Yeah. Okay. And and yeah, these aren't complicated uh, creatures. They're summoned and they 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 attack and they don't attack. So yeah, I have them attack the. I like said, can I change that to the weakest looking guy? Yeah. Which is which is one? Which one is it? Which is the weakest? Well, I. Which is the weakest one? Doesn't your goblin dog instinct kind of? Aren't you able to kind of sense weakness? Uh. Sure. Oh, well, it's your choice then. Okay. I attack the guy with the lightning gun, and I go up and I just I just kind of chew on his face. <laughs> All right. Chew on his face a little. You want to roll? You chew it. I did already. And five damage. You bite him right on the face. You rip open his lip. Ooh, it's gross. Good job, Goblin Dog. Good job, Goblin Dog. Farewell. Young girl. Wait, Goblin Dog. Yes. Make your name dog. was. Rufus. Yep. Thumbs up. Going Poof. back to hell. He disappears. He, he returns to hell. Owls I really hell. liked him. I liked that guy. <laughs> I, <laughs> All right, it's Steve's turn. Um, d d I, I, I'm still a tree, right? Yeah. As far as I understand. Yes, okay. Do, do any of you guys have a weapon that I could borrow for this attack? Can a tree hand him a weapon? No, your stuff is a tree. I'm a tree. Fuck. Yeah, you would have been able to. Can I rip a branch off of... No. no. Yeah, you yeah, can. Hey, hey, <laughs> hey. Um, I could give you something. What do oh, you got? I didn't... Zips. No, go ahead. Sorry. Uh, I didn't describe this this time. I described it last time, but I forgot to... Yeah. There's, there's a 
target, like it's like a throwing knife target on the wall that's like full of throwing knives. Oh, oh, that's. I mean, okay, great. Uh, can I dart to the target? You're already near it. Oh, can I pull out? Careful. Th- three throwing knives. Are they heavy or? Two? Yeah, they're really light. Okay, so I'll, I'll I'll pull out a couple of those and I want to throw them at uh, the um, the fire sword's chest. Okay, his hand is being grabbed, so he can't dodge as well. Yeah, but you're not proficient. What's your dexterity? Oh God, it's fifteen plus two. Yeah, no, you miss. It whizzes by his head. Hey. What are you doing? I'm sorry. I thought I'd be able to hit him while you were holding him still. It's Jeff's turn. Entangle. Oh, that was his big thing. I He's... use my. Can, can I be my own entanglement device now that I'm a tree? I'm gonna look it up, but let's just say yes for now. Because I now can use woodland cre- woodland the branches and vines to entangle plants. Everyone in 40-foot radius. All right. I just start entangling. So do we get entangled also? No, no, yeah. I, I'm aiming it at the bad guys. That's the thing is I feel like I, I'm going to have to look this up because I think you might Spencer, entangle Spencer, just follow your heart. Follow your heart. I'm going to just say for now that it's just fine. Okay. And But I think everyone technically might be entangled. Entang- but let's not worry. Everyone? Okay, look, well, okay, if, if I entangle everybody. So it's it, it's willy nilly. I, I have no control over who I entangle. Well, it's area based, and we're in a small confined. But I don't know. Let's just say I had big plans. I know. Let's just say for now because I'm not sure, and I I don't want to look it up because yeah. I mean, let's I, just say you fuck entangle. it. I entangle everybody because we can talk it out. Yeah, we can huh? talk this shit out. I want to be in that that long. Uh, I entangled entangle the embrace. whole. I entangle everything in a forty foot radius, and I'm just a big. I'm just a big entangler. Right, but like it's not. It's not like chains or anything. It just makes it harder. It's like it's like fighting through a maze. Okay, so I haven't changed it. Well, you have. Yeah, <laughs> they're definitely they're definitely currently bound. They're just not. They're I not. I thought I was gonna just tangle fuckers up. Well, what, ha- did. what happens? There's a fire sword in the mix. Is it? Well, it's being held. Yeah. Oh. I got it. Taken care of. Yeah. All right. So fuck it. I. I'm new at this. I'm a druid that hasn't really figured this shit out. I just start entangling fuckers, and now everyone's caught in my web of entanglements. Yep. And I hold his flaming sword up high away from the the uh, the, the the tangles so they don't catch fire. Right, yeah. Because they don't catch fire if it's held up high. That works. Yeah, and I'm still shaking it, and I'm telling him to, what is he doing? What are you doing? Don't do that. Thank you, Gary Shambling. You're welcome, Chad. Is that your whole turn? Do you want to do other stuff? Ch- Is it my turn? Yeah. Oh, oh, I, I going. start kicking him. <laughs> kicking him in the, like his shins. All right. I go, and, you big man? You big man now? You big man? Does he answer? Does How's, he ever how's say Patchens anything? doing? Patchens is unconscious. Oh. Does he say? He's, 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 he's probably entangled. Um, he says, ow. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. hit him for 16 damage. Oh, shit. Pretty good. What? You kicked the these fuck are, out of his shins. Good. Uh, yeah. I'm kicking him in the shin and ass. Yeah. And I go, you stupid mother. That hurts more than the lightning? I don't know. I wow. Know. You Holy break shit. his knees. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. Yeah. You don't want him. You don't want to get a shambling kick. Who's that? Um, it's like Edward it's Norton me. in American History X. So the guy with broken knees tries to break free, and he does. Um, he oh, falls oh. to the ground just trying to slice slice with his his, uh, his flaming sword. Mm. And uh, he, he, hits, he hits the tree, and so he's going to catch it on fire. Oh, come on. I love fire. Oh. I hope you love being on it. <laughs> I'm, I'm, my my um. name is the Fire Liker. All right, you take 13 fire damage. Yeah, bullshit. All right, he does that. The other guy, he's got the Zapcaster. Uh, well, you don't know that that's what it's called. That's really its name, Zapcaster. It's a working title, but yeah. Most of this stuff is behind-the-scenes terminology because it doesn't come up. 
But um, yeah, he can't he can't pull himself free from the entanglement to shoot anybody with his gun. So. Yeah, because I'm a I'm a tree. Is fire damage over time? Uh, yeah. Well, it, it'll it'll keep burning. Yeah, it keeps burning unless it's put out. So now it's Dan's turn. So one person's dead. One person is very crippled and on the floor. They only kind of managed to catch something on fire while they were falling out of the grasp of a monster. And then the guy, the other guy's entangled. Oh, you're entangled, kind of. Okay. Well, is, uh, is there anyone within attack range of me, melee-wise? Uh, no, you've been kind of out of the fray, I think. All right. Well, then I'm just going to do a good old solar flare. Oh. Blinding you... everyone in the room. <laughs> Can you do that more than I, I, once a day? Did I already do it today? You did it once today. Yeah. Because I did it at the in the bathroom. Yeah, that was the same day. It's I mean, I said day. I was doing a solar flare. It was just an expression of how the tacos were hitting me. <laughs> yeah. You might be able to do more than once per day. I'm not no, sure. No, it says uh, okay. once per day. No, it doesn't say that, but it doesn't say more than once. Um, okay, well, try this on for size. How do you like this? Um, <coughs> here's something I can do more than once a day. Zip. Yeah. Channel energy and heal everybody within 30 feet. That's what Sweet. I do. I'm a healer. It's um, not a good ending, but... Do I grow bigger? No, but you heal. I'm already healed. You heal three. Steve heals six. Fuck Jeff it. heals four. Dan heals six. I'm not writing this down. It's fine. Steve's writing it down. Or if he's not, it's fine. No, I'm writing it down. Um, yeah, so everyone is healed for that amount. Oh, so God. we got this one guy that's crippled. People are still entangled. Are they, how, how many rounds are they entangled for? Uh, at least two more. Uh, Steve. <laughs> I, I mean, can I move at all? What's my... You're being entangled, so you can try to move, but you might fail. Okay. Is it sort of... Would you say, like, all the vines and stuff were sort of like its own dungeon? Um, sure. Could I use my knowledge of dungeoneering and maneuver through the... Oh, Steve. <laughs> wow. You can try. I, I'm... I, it's well, not a word game. <laughs> it's a game of the imagination. <laughs> you don't gain meaningful insight from the vines. Because they're not a dungeon at all. <laughs> or because you can't connect them to a dungeon. Maybe because there's a dungeon. They're, they're vines. Well, but maybe there's like a dungeon of the vines, but he's just never been there to a connect. A dungeon his... of the vines. There is one. I'm saying it now. Shh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. The bad guy's like, have you guys heard of the Dungeon of the Vines? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, damn. Wow. So is my turn over, or can I? No, you just don't know. You, you... All right, so then I I do my best to get to the, the, the closest enemy and try to, and I'll just keep wailing, punching them if I make it. Okay, you do that. Hell, yeah. So you're punching which guy? Wh whoever's closest. Who's the guy? The yeah, the crippled guy's closes. I'm just gonna yeah, just keep punching him while he's down until his face is all bloody and like his bones start cracking. What's your strength bonus? Eighteen plus four. That's a lot. Right. Of you hit him for five damage. Fuck yeah! All right, you knock him out. Eat my shit, you bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Eat my shit, you. That could be. Yeah. Moment pass. Whose turn? Jeff's turn. Can I can I uh, do a fireball as a tree, or am I just a tree? No, you got to come back from a tree to not entangle. I can, is that one turn? Uh, let's see. You can do it as a free action. Okay, I, free action. I un I untree, and I shoot fireball at crippled guy. Okay, wait. He just got knocked out. Oh yeah, fucking! I'm gonna kill him. Okay. Uh, you miss. Jesus Christ. Sorry, guys. I've been a tree for the last ten minutes. Yeah, um, shambling mount. I uh, I uh, I run up to the crippled guy that's unconscious. I start stomping on him like De Niro in uh, uh, Goodfellas. Okay. The, when he's when he's stomping on the the shine box guy. Mm -hmm. So the camera's like looking up, <laughs> at up at me, and I'm going. It's gross. It makes you uncomfortable. <laughs> 
It makes uh, Shamblin. A lot of people make that mistake. That character's na- name isn't the Shinebox guy. He, He's dead. <laughs> He's dead. You, <laughs> Gary, you killed him. <sighs> Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus Christ in heaven. Thank you. Thank what, you, St. Peter. Thank who you. are these people he's talking about? Thank you, Jesus. I don't... <laughs> what was that? Cliffhanger! Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. The, per, the, the most fitting ending <laughs> to an episode. Why ever. Not Give it up for Steve ending. Levy, Stop everybody! Not the best episode. The most fitting ending. <laughs> Rob Shrub! Man. <laughs> this ended an episode in yeah. silence. Yeah. Not even mid, like. The credits weren't even yeah. rolling. It was just kind of like. Should we cut? Should we cut? Okay, let's Yeah, cut. well. Guess also, what? Let's give it up for everybody that helps out make this awesome. You song, Sarah, Kevin, Chris, <laughs> Zach, Church. <laughs> Demorge is here somewhere. Wasn't Demorge supposed to be in the show? Is he just hanging out? Meow, meow, meow. Have I forgotten anybody? Oh, Spencer Crittenden, the Game Master. Meow, meow. I'm a controller, Mr. Jeff Davis. Your mayor is Dan Harmon. Drive fast, take chances. Did you get any of that? It's a good show.